The ribbon is the most important aspect of the Microsoft Word interface. It contains the vast majority of the commands that the program has to offer. These commands are arranged in a series of tabs. To activate a tab, click on its name. The commands displayed in each tab are all related in some way. For example, the commands in the Home tab are those which are most frequently used in Microsoft Word. Commands such as Cut, Copy and Paste and commands for changing the character and paragraph attributes of your text. The Insert tab contains commands for adding elements to your page, such as tables, pictures, headers and footers. The Page Layout tab contains commands relating to the formatting of the page as a whole, such as the orientation and the margins. The References tab contains controls for adding references to longer documents, such as tables of contents and indexes. The Mail-ins tab contains controls for creating mail merge documents. This involves the combination of data documents, which normally contain a list of recipients, with a main document, which is normally a letter, to produce a series of personalized mail merge documents, which can then be sent out to each recipient. The Review tab contains tools for proofing your document. Here you can check your spelling and grammar, and also you have tools for reviewing a document by adding comments, and for tracking these comments as the document is passed from person to person. The View tab contains controls for displaying the document in various ways. It also contains controls for zooming in and out. And finally, the Developer tab. This contains controls for creating and editing macros and Visual Basic applications. The controls in each tab are organized into groups. For example, in the Home tab we have Clipboard, Font, Paragraph, Styles and Editing. As always with Microsoft applications, hovering over a control displays a tooltip. In the case of Office 2007, these tooltips are quite extensive. They contain a description of how the control works, what it does, and the keyboard shortcut which is equivalent to that control. There are basically three types of controls. Buttons, drop-down menus, and launchers. The bold control is an example of a simple button. When you click the bold button, highlighted text becomes bold. If you click the bold button again, the highlighted text reverts to normal. The Change Case control is an example of a drop-down menu. Clicking the control shows you a series of options. For example, if I now choose uppercase, the highlighted text becomes capitalized. If I choose capitalize each word, only the first letter in each word is capitalized. Some controls are a combination of both simple buttons and drop-down menus. One example is underline. When I hover over the underline, you'll see it consists of two sections, the button on the left and the drop-down menu on the right. If I click on the button, the default underline is applied, in this case the underline which was last used. If I click on the drop-down menu, I'm given a series of options for customizing the underline. I can change its style, dotted, dashed, and so forth. I can also change its color. As with bold, if I click a second time, the underline is removed. The next time I use underline, the line color and line style that I chose from the drop-down menu will become the default. Launcher buttons are normally displayed in the bottom right of some groups. Clicking a launcher button displays a series of options, either in a task pane or a dialog box. In the case of the clipboard launcher, for example, the options are displayed within a task pane. In the case of the font launcher, the options are displayed in a dialog box. The Microsoft Word ribbon takes up quite a lot of screen space, approximately 20% of the average screen. 
If this becomes inconvenient, you can minimize the ribbon at any time. To do this, simply double-click on the name of any tab. When the ribbon is minimized, it can still be used. Simply click on the name of a tab, and the options will appear once more. Once you've chosen the option, the ribbon will be minimized again. To revert the ribbon to its normal behavior, simply double-click on any tab. A second way of minimizing the ribbon is to go to the Quick Access Toolbar and choose Minimize the Ribbon. To revert the ribbon to its normal size, use the same option.